Here we are at the Waterloo Pickney Trailhead in uh, Waterloo State Recreational Area. We are going to do the Waterloo to Pickney Trail. And you know what's really cool? Is when you pull your sunglasses out and they're already broken before you even get started. <laughs> that's so, good. That's good. So it's right around 36 miles. We're going to go uh, 10 today to Pines Campground and got a good day for it. It's about how many degrees? Too hot. It's going to be too hot, but. All right, we're going to weigh our packs now. All right. So, turn that bad boy on. All right. You going to get you got it? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This is mine. Can you hold it? Let me see. 35 pounds. Mine is 35 pounds, and that's what I thought it would be, right? <laughs> All right, let's do yours. All right, now the big boy. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a gypsy. Here we go. I got a bunch of crap in here. <laughs> let's right. do it. There we go. And he is at 45 pounds. Oh, I'm at 35, my. he's at 45, so we'll see how this goes. All right, cool. Let's do it. Probably get a look. Okay, here's what here's the whole trail right here. We're here. We are gonna go day one to Pines Campground. Right there, it's about 10 miles, so that's gonna be day one. Day two, we're gonna go to Pines Campground, all the way up here to Green Lake, which is right there, mm -hmm. Green Lake Campground. And then day three, well, that's like 12 miles. And then day three, we're gonna go all the way to Portage Lake. Uh, Pinkney, 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 Pinkney Rec area. Pinkney Rec area, and that's going to be about Silver Lake. 10, 11 miles. So. Pretty sure it's Silver Lake. That's the plan. We're heading to Silver Lake. Three days, two nights. And here we go. Hopefully we get to see some good adventuring here. Yes. So last time we were out and about, we actually seen a live owl up in a tree. That we did. We saw two snakes <laughs> and a variation of birds. So, so keep you posted. Yep. Oh yeah, a bunch of swamp cabbage too. The leaves on the trees are starting to come out, so that's gonna be better than dead looking trees. So. It is one mile. Woohoo! How are you I feeling? Made, I made it a mile. <laughs> Mushroom. Don't eat it. We gotta go back. <laughs> Trails blocked. Trails blocked. Look at this. Bunch of what? Three of them? Yeah. And if you follow that one up, it looks like it's gonna kill you. And that one there just might kill you if you get it just right. I'm gonna swing on it. See what You're gonna swing on it. Okay. All right. Here we go. How you going? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, jeez. You good? 
Yeah. All right. Kind of not the right way. I think I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> oh, that's the right way to go. <laughs> all right, all right. And okay. if anybody's ever seen uh, the Predator, Arnold's been here setting up a trap for a, a deadfall for a alien. Shoot. All right, here we go. I'm not going underneath it. Go around it. You gonna do it the hard way? <laughs> Sing. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Yay! Yay! We're coming past Willis Road right Willis Road right now. And they say there's a water source up here. So we're gonna take a gander at it and see what we can see. The dirt road. There's a house. <laughs> I can hear it. I Ooh. can hear it. Sounds like a creek. I see it. There it is. Oh, there we go. Little thing. Oh, someone left a little bag here for us. Eh. Ah. All right, so if you're coming this way, this is at about three and a half miles. So, decent oh. water source down there. Looks like you can filter. You got a little path. Looks like someone's been, people do oh, it yeah, already. Probably done it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, look at that. I don't know what that's called, but I like to call it swamp cabbage. Swamp cabbage. All right, it's coming right. from over there. Yeah. And that's the bridge. Turn oh, you don't have glasses. People didn't even see. People don't even know we're out here. <laughs> Bunch of potheads, right, <laughs> hippie lettuce yeah. people. All right, here we go. We're crossing uh, Glen Road. Glen Road. We've been, it's been a pretty good steady incline all the way up. So now we are crossing Glen Road. Close to five miles. Uh, yeah, we got to be close to Sack Rider Hill. Their name's Sack Rider, because they used to carry their kids around in a sack. I don't know. They have a bunch of weirdos. Don't listen to them. I wouldn't listen to them. <laughs> that's a fact. Nah, <laughs> that's an alternative fact. All right, All right. Mike, this has got to be Sack Rider Hill. Wine. So we're halfway up. And it's all the way down. Pretty steep incline. The stairs don't seem to help much. They're like, not... You have to take too big of a step. I guess if you're a giant or a Nephilim, then that'd probably be okay for you, but this is not working out too good for... I'm somewhat of a smaller fella. And so it gets pretty darn tiring. My gypsy pack is awful heavy going up one of these hills. I think the incline, I believe, is what was it? Incline, what's the incline for this? I don't remember. I believe it's 18 degrees, 18% or whatever. Cognitive cells going down. It's about 900 degrees outside. I've drinking 35 liters of water. So my camelback is about empty and I believe I started off with about four liters today. I know, I know, that's too much water. But, uh, I like to carry stuff. I just put it on my back and just go. And here's Jay. It's a liter and a half. I got a half left, so I've been through a liter and a half. It's hot out. Awesome, we're almost there. All right, top of Sack Rider Hill here. <laughs> and it's 84 degrees out so we are going to stop here for lunch and here we are we found a little spot under here howdy fellas <laughs> there's my chair there's mike's chair what do you got mike 
Well, I just did some hydration IV lemon lime. Hydration IV lemon lime, okay. Yeah, that's this stuff here. Uh oh. Did you taste it yet? Oh yeah, it's lemon lime. Any good? It's excellent with lukewarm water. <laughs> it couldn't be any better. <laughs> what do you got for eating? Well, I'm gonna make some peanut butter bread. Oh, you got peanut butter? Where's your peanut butter? Oh, see, so now. Oh, you can't find it? I can try it here. Oh, put, that put, looks pretty. Put a little yeah. sack. Yeah. So then you do it like a baker's thing. You yeah. just kind of squeeze it out. All right, let's see it. Oh, okay, hang on. Yeah, cut a little. Turn it into a baker's thing. All Clean right. it. This is for you, Toby. Clean my <laughs> knife off. My all purpose knife. Let's see this. It's nice and warm out, so it just comes out like a. Oh, I got an ant on my stuffed dog on it. <laughs> That's perfect. And then you just squeeze it out like a baker's thing. Nice. Soda. Then you got a nice peanut butter boat. Cool. <laughs> All right. Now that I got peanut butter everywhere, <laughs> all over my hand, the GoPro is covered in it now. You can't tell that. That's fine. All right. So, what do you got, Jay? I got a tortilla wrap. I got some hot buffalo style uh, tuna creations I'm going to scoop onto that bad boy. There That's rich go. people food right there, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh man, looks good, Mike. It does. This is what? Oh, I ripped it off. It's like uh, 15 grams of protein, but, and 70 calories, but that's not enough. So I'm gonna add this deli. Oh! Style tuna creations oh. to it to get it up to par. Where do you buy these such creations? Uh, I actually got this at Target. Tar t -t Target. Man, does this look good, Mike? I'm starving too. And Target is not sponsoring this video. <laughs> but if they want to start sponsoring stuff, it's okay. <laughs> well, all right. Now, to top it off, I'm going to put some mayonnaise on there. Oh, nice. Got to love mayonnaise. Ooh, we got to open that thing. I thought I opened it once. I'm going to open it again now. Huh? Put some mayo on there. Oh, that looks good. One. There's nothing better than really warm mayo on a very sunny day. It's like water. It's, you know, it's like perfect. Well, that didn't come out that great. It's like hot chocolate. You know what? I'm going to put some mustard on there oh, now. Oh, now you're talking. Look at this. Hot mustard. This oh, is hot mustard on a hot day with buffalo style. Oh, yeah. All right, get a gander of this You bad should not before. have any heartburn. Before I roll it up. Oh, hang on. Okay. Yeah. Now that looks pretty darn flipping good. I'm gonna put this side in. I'm gonna put this side in. Hey, I see that on TikToks. Is that what that is? Yeah. And I think I'm gonna roll it like this. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh you gotta lick that like a, uh -oh. you gotta lick that, you know what I mean? Well, not, like a, not a very professional, but pretty good. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Awesome. All right. Sack Rider Hill. How did it get its name, Mike? Oh, Sack Rider Hill? <laughs> the, the government back in 1800s? 1840, I believe it 1840, was. 1840. The government gave them a rights to the Sack Riders. 160 acres. 160 acres. Government issued land to farm. But the only stipulation was that it be dragged here by a sack. That is not true. That's a true story. And um, what else? They had the... So then... They had like five boys, one girl. Five boys and a girl. And this hill, they used to have a cross there. Now there's a couple little crosses. They would carry a cross up here on Good Friday. Well, it used to be up here up permanently. No, it didn't get permanent until 1950. Oh. Oh. So be prior to 1950, they would, on Good Friday, they would drag a cross up here, a 10 foot cross. I'll put a picture up in here later and they do it on good friday and they would have easter service up here at sunrise and then they would drag that cross back down there and then in 1950 it was a permanent cross put up here 
and uh, it was up there for 70 some years until someone said you can't have cows up there how come oh it's on public land no it's state oh, it's <laughs> state, on state land state land and then you got the old and then they had to go to court and all that other stuff so happened. now they made a compromise they took it down it's now it's now at a church a couple miles down the road and they can still come up here and have their good friday service good friday easter service but they have to sign a permit and bring it up here and bring it back down so they still do that so not on such a happy note oh not not a fun fact not a but fun a, fact about sack rider hill but a sad sad fact 1958 boy and a girl came up here he was 17 she was 16. he ended up shooting her a few times went to jail for murder he only stayed in jail for seven years. Yeah, and they so, say, yep, they say, they say if you come up here in the middle of the night, some people claim it's haunted, but we'll never know because we're not going. We're getting out of here. I ain't <laughs> staying here. <laughs> All right. <laughs>this heat Mike in May too freaking hot it is too hot it's 85 on May 13th we're yeah. coming up on mile 8 we got a couple miles to go and I would say we're probably ready to be at camp I am okay I'm not used to this heat quarter mile down this road and then we'll uh, a couple more miles get to camp we can rest Shorts on. Just get your shorts on, yeah, okay. I, oh, you don't have shorts on either. Look at that. Oh. Is it on? Yep. Well, when they say seasonal flooding. Al just, alternate route, uh, seasonal flooding back uh, there. You think we should have took it? Yeah. What did I say? Oh, no, not right now. No, not now. It'll be fine. So, let us backtrack. All right. As we go backwards now. <laughs> Look, oh, we're so close to getting to that I bridge. Know. <laughs> Oh, here we go. How far? Uh, <laughs> Quarter mile? Yeah. All right. If you see this little sign right here, they ain't lying. They ain't lying. We walked up there. It was flooded. Yeah, so, flood. so now we're going to go this way. Off we go. Hopefully it's a shortcut. Hopefully it's a fire. shortcut. Me too. We took the seasonal water bypass to Baldwin Road. Now we're walking up Baldwin Road to get back to the trail. At least it's on the asphalt. <laughs> yeah. So we, it can absorb more we, heat. Well, we were kind of cooling down, so now we're back to yeah. hot again. So it's always a good sign. Back up here a little ways to the trail and then not too much further to camp. Who knows? Who knows? It's just like stock road. Just past Mount Hope Road. That's pretty open now. Yeah. Made it to Baldwin flooding. Here we are. I don't think anyone's gonna read that, so I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. There's a good water source on the other side of this bridge. camp that way a creek so let's go to camp yep. shall we yeah let's get settled in 
I'm going to go get some water. Today and tonight. Tonight tomorrow morning. <laughs> then we'll go get some, filter some water. I believe we made it to camp. Pines camp. Ground. Backpack, campground, advanced registration only, which we did. We registered for site one. So, let's go find site one. And I see one right there. There's one, Mike. All right, looks good. Picnic table. Close it up for five minutes, turn off the gas. All right, close it, stir it. Stir carefully and then close it for, oh shit. It's nine ten exactly. Man, you want a headlamp? We don't need, won't need one. <laughs> Shouldn't need one really. You think about it? It might have taken me a while to find it though. I told him we wouldn't need a, a headlamp because we would be here way earlier than we were. Another bad advice. Okay. It's 9.20. I'm gonna eat this lasagna. Check it out. Look how good that looks. It smells good too, so. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Awesome. Mosquito. Oh, it's really good. Clear. All right. Okay. I'm gonna eat this and go to bed. <laughs>